welcome to casting academy now our topic is uh, mechanism basics of mechanism in previous session we discussed uh, about uh, four bar linkage inversions of four bar linkage and uh, single slider crank chain and its various inversions now our topic is mechanical advantage of a mechanism mechanical advantage of a mechanism here you see the four bar mechanism here you see the four bar mechanism a b is the crank a b is the crank and b c is the coupler and c d is the c d is the follower here the mechanism is convert the rotary motion of the crank into oscillatory motion at c so you know the basic four bar mechanism here why we go for mechanical advantage one of the most important quality mechanism quality measure of the mechanism it is the one of the most important quality measure of the mechanism quality measure means it's a index it's a just a number which gives the mechanism is good one or poor one mechanical advantage tells whether a mechanism is good one or poor one here how we find out the mechanism mechanical advantage output torque divided by input torque equal to that is equal to driving torque of cd divided by driving torque of ab ab you know the ab you know the input crank torque and cd the output driven driver driven so here tc is the driven torque and tab is the driving torque the same angular velocity of the link ab which means crank and angular velocity of the driven so angular velocity of the driver by angular velocity of the driven so totally this formula gives the mechanical advantage so tab torque exerted on driving link ab which means driving link tc is na driven resisting torque driven resisting torque and omega ab equal to angular velocity of driving link ab and omega cd equal to driven link here power input the power input equal to power output you know power input equal to power output so how we find out the input the driving tcd into omega cd that is equal to tab into omega ab here is the power input here is the power output that must be equal so overall mechanical advantage says how the driving and in driven torques are um plays a important uh, parameter for uh, index so simply output torque by input torque so just to we find out the mechanical advantage next transmission angle for bore bar mechanism transmission angle and mechanical advantage for four bar mechanism here you know these 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 things are four bar mechanism ab is the driver bc is the coupler the driver or another name is crank cd driven link or follower and ad equal to frame or fixed link gamma equal to transmission angle here the four bar mechanism you know the particular a b c d are the concern link lengths a b c d are the link lengths here the important one is uh, gamma equal to angle between the coupler and driven link gamma is the angle between the coupler and driven link that is the transmission angle and also theta equal to crank angle Th theta is the angle between the driving crank with the fixed link and beta is the angle between the coupler and driver beta is the angle between the coupler and driver so here is the this is the uh, uh, basic parameters for transmission and mechanical advantage here mechanical advantage in terms of angles gamma and beta mechanical advantage in terms of uh, gamma and beta that is equal to mechanical advantage equal to tcd divided by tab equal to omega ab divided by omega cd equal to 
c into sin gamma divided by a into sin beta c into sin gamma divided by a into sin beta so here is the formula c into in terms of angle the same mechanical advantage formula for uh, in terms of angle sin angles c into sin gamma divided by a into sin beta here the mechanical advantage proportionally directly proportional to sin of angle between gamma between coupler and follower mechanical advantage directly proportional to sin of angle gamma between the coupler and the follower the mechanical advantage inversely proportional to the sin of the angle beta and couple, beta of the coupler and driver as linkage moves continuously therefore mechanical advantage also changing continuously because of the angles are continuously changing gamma and beta as linkage moves continue moves continuously mechanical advantage also continuously changing the angles the uh, advantage also changes applying cosine law in triangles a b a d and b c d in triangle b a d in triangle b a d and b c d in triangle b a d and b c d applying the cosine law cosine law in triangles b a d and b c d from uh, we got a square plus d square minus 2 a d cos theta a square plus 2 d square minus 2 a d cos theta equal to k square and b square plus c square minus 2 b c equal to cos y equal to k square so now finally we got from 1 and 2 a square a square d square minus 2 ad cos theta b square c square minus 2 bc cos gamma so just you put a cosine formula for this we get this formula here when the link length and input crank angle gamma are known when the link lengths and input crank angle known the transmission angle can be determined gamma is maximum when theta equal to 180 degree and gamma is minimum when theta equal to 0 degree gamma is maximum when theta equal to 0 180 degree and gamma is minimum when theta equal to 0 degree conditions applicable only to double crank or crank cracker mechanism only here the next topic is the effect of transmission angle on mechanical advantage effect of transmission angle on mechanical advantage here you see look at the figure first first of all i understand uh, everything this is a basic four bar mechanism a b driver and b c coupler and c d driven link here uh, a to d is a fixed link you see the three uh, four variable positions black dotted that is one position black uh, dashed lines and uh, this dotted line and here also you double dashed lines also so various position just to you observe the diagram clearly okay now we uh, that a b c d equal to actual four bar linkage line dashed line a b 1 c 1 d equal to position of four bar linkage in toggle position a b a 1 b 1 c 1 d and a b 4 c 4 d these are all the four bar linkage in toggle position the dotted line a b 2 c d that is the position of minimum value for gamma gamma value is minimum the position is a b 2 c t d the gamma values maximum a b 3 c 3 d okay now the gamma value is small the mechanical advantage decreases the gamma value is small the mechanical advantage decreases even a small friction causes to lock or jam the mechanism gamma value is as uh, gamma value is small mechanical advantage uh, comes decrease even a small friction causes to lock or jam that for four bar mechanism not used where the 
ட்ரான்ஸ்மிஷன் ஆங்கிள் காமா இஸ் லெசர் தேன் டி ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிகிரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் இல்லை காமா ஆங்கிள் இஸ் லெசர் தேன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிகிரினால் வி கான்ட் யூஸ் ஃபோர் பார் மெக்கானிசம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஆங்கிள் ஆஃப் காமா அக்கர் வேர் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஆங்கிள் ஆஃப் காமா அக்கர் வென் கிராங்க் ஏபி லைஸ் அலாங் ஃப்ரேம் டி திஸ் கிராங்க் அலாங் ஃப்ரேம் ஏடி த எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஆங்கிள் காமா அக்க வென் கிராங்க் அலாங் ஏபி லைஸ் அலாங் ஃப்ரேம் ஏடி காமா மினிமம் வென் ஏபி பொசிஷன் ஏபி டூ காமா மினிமம் வென் பொசிஷன் இஸ் ஏபி டூ சிடிடி ஏபி டூ சிடி ஏபி டூ ab2 c2 d so dotted line so gamma minimum when ab2 c2 d transmission angle gamma maximum when crank position ab3 ab3 c c3 d ab3 c3 d a b3 c3 d so here is the case gamma small mechanical advantage decreases even small friction causes to lock or jam the mechanism four bar mechanism we can't use lesser than the 45 degree transmission angle extreme angle gamma occur when crank ab lies along the frame ad gamma minimum when ab position is ab2 ctd and transmission angle maximum the position crank position ab3 c3d here next four bar in linkage in toggle four bar linkage in toggle first of all you understand what is mean by toggle position when beta equal beta equal is 0 degree or 180 degree beta equal to 0 degree or 180 degree mechanical advantage becomes infinite mechanical advantage becomes infinite the linkage called in this position the linkage is in the position of toggle position when we got this toggle position ab1 c1d equal to beta equal to 30 degree 180 degree and ab4 c4 d beta equal to 0 degree here ab1 c1 the original mechanism sorry this mechanism in 180 degree and also 0 degree we got the toggle position when beta is 0 degree or 180 degree mechanical advantage becomes infinite that is the linkage in position of toggle a1 by 1 c1 a b1 c1 d that is equal to beta equal to 180 degree a b4 c4 d beta equal to 0 degree that is toggle position at this toggle position only small amount of input torque is sufficient to overcome a large output torque load at this position when theta beta equal to 0 degree and 180 degree only small amount of input torque is sufficient to overcome a large output torque load remember the toggle position small amount of input torque is move the larger load applications toggle position used in clamping mechanisms toggle position used in clamping mechanisms and stone crushing mechanisms presses to produce very high mechanical advantage so these are the applications of toggle positions so remember toggle position now we now we go for our problem area see the solved problems on mechanical advantage and transmission angle find the mechanical maximum and minimum transmission angle for mechanisms here you see the four bar mechanism two four bar mechanism the all the units 3 3 1 2 8 uh, sorry 7 b 7 6 8 these are all the standard unit length you can consider so find the maximum and minimum transmission angle of for this mechanism consider you give a equal to one unit first a equal to one unit and b equal to 3 c d like this and first of all you identify the type of mechanism what type of mechanism you use grayskopf law identify the type of mechanism use gray soft law gray soft law some of the shortest link length and the longest link length should not be greater than the remaining two link lengths so here is the shortest link is one longest three other two two three since l plus 3 less than 2 plus 3 also short link is fixed here the case short link is fixed so we got a crank rocker mechanism crank rocker mechanism 
So for this crank cracker mechanism, we draw the mu max and mu minimum position. The position of uh, mu max and mu minimum for crank cracker mechanism. Just you see the figure. So this is the case. Mu max, just to see. Okay. So now we for figure A we apply law of cosines so already you know the formula law of cosines law of cosine we, we got the formula b square plus c square minus 2bc cos mu max that is equal to a plus d whole square so just uh, we put the corresponding values we got mu max equal to 1.4 or not 4 degree here is same apply cosine law for mu minimum for this mu minimum we got the 41.4 degree here we use this formula already we drive the formula already we drive the formula so here is the case so now we apply the second problem then we got the mu max 134 137 degree and mu minimum 31.95 degree here you see i'm halfway halfway only i am solve this problem just you go through and solve second one i hope uh, all you will understand about the mechanical advantage and uh, transmission angle just uh, uh, you uh, do other problems for your uh, um talent and also you follow my channel for a remaining animation remaining chapter and also related animation topics for this one and thank you to all